Hi, welcome to the 2017 NYCHA Junior World Finals. I'm standing here with Ryan Packard, who won the World Finals. Uh, she marked a 2.11 tonight. Tell me how that uh, run was. Uh, my cows were a little not very good, but my horse kind of stuck through it. And, I mean, we ended up having a pretty decent run for what it, what, what it was. Now, there were three goes. Uh, how did you do for the first go? Um, my horse was really, really good that night, but my cows were not very good, so I ended up losing a cow, but I think that was definitely, I was having my best run so far. What about the second, and what did you mark? Um, the second night, I think I had like a 196. Um, again, my cows were not very good. I mean, it happens, so. Hey, we all have those moments. Uh, what did you, what was uh, your lead coming into the World Finals? Um, my lead coming into World Finals was 14 points. So it was pretty good, and it made me confident coming in. Did you, uh, when you showed tonight, did you have any, uh, did you watch the cows? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, were you nervous at all, or were you pretty confident? I was pretty confident. I'm always a little bit nervous just, just because I think you're supposed to be a little bit. But, I mean, I was pretty confident going in. Just ha go have fun, pretty much. So now you've hauled for the World Finals this year. Do you know how many uh, miles you might have done, or do you have any funny stories from the road? I probably hauled, I don't even know. It's a huge number, I'm guessing, really, really big. Um, I mean, we were driving back from Kansas to Texas or Mississippi every single weekend, so it was really, it was a lot of miles, and I flew a lot too, so I don't even, it's probably a really long number. How do you feel about being world champion? Um, I'm so grateful that for everyone that helped me do this, and I'm so relieved. I mean, hauling was, it was hard, but I mean, I think I'm going to miss it, but I'm really relieved now that it's over, and it was really fun. I'm really glad. Do you think you'd maybe do it again next year for the, will you, will you be in the senior? Oh, so, okay. Um, I might haul for the top 15, but I don't think I'll go for a first, maybe for a few years, but I mean, you know, I'll see what happens. Uh, so tell me about your horse, uh, Stir Silish Lizzie. How is she? Um, he's, he's really, really fun. Um, he's probably one of my favorite horses to show I've ever shown. He's really, he's really, really cool. He's pretty easy. I mean, he stops really hard and he just tries so hard every single time. I mean, every time we go down there, he really tries hard. Oh, do you have any more other horses that you love to show? Yes, my other horses, I'm Catman, and then my mom's horses, PJ, Plain and Jules, and Pepto Scoot and Man, she let me show all year. And so I really, really like all of them. Okay, so who has been your most help while on the road, or who uh, would you yeah, thank the most for line. helping you achieve your goals this year? Definitely my mom for hauling me everywhere and buying all the horses and paying for everything. And then Matt Budge, who went out of his way every single weekend to come and help me. And then every single person like that lent me a horse or even loped a horse and just everyone who helped me in the World Finals, Matt, uh, Phil Rapp, Johnny Mitchell, um, Tom Dvorak, Sean Flynn, everyone who helped, like, I mean so much to me, no matter what you did, thank you so much. Uh, how much did you enjoy Youth Week? What was your favorite part? Um, I think all of it, getting to show in the scholarship cutting and the barrel racing and the family fun night and World Finals, I think all of it was awesome. I really loved it this week. Oh yeah, you won the uh, barrel race, didn't you? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> uh, thank you, Ryan, for being with us tonight. Congratulations on being the world champion. Thank you.